Articit. And uh, today I want to show you uh, how everything works inside Smarticit that resembles everything in original Apple One. And this is uh, this video could help you in uh, making your own Smarticit. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we have like five breadboards starting from one and the bottom. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And uh, here we have all the modules already installed in the mode of, in the view of stickers. So we have uh, uh, different colors for different sorts of modules. And also we have uh, purple or red uh, arrows that show main signals that connect different sorts of of modules okay let's start from the beginning and so we have like our heart of our computer is uh, central processing unit CPU and the generator that provides clock signal for it uh, so it like synchronize everything inside the computer and uh, CPU performs different sorts of operations that it fetches from memory from read-only memory when it starts it gets commands from was operating system and then it also can read something from uh, random access memory during the operations and try to do it too okay so CPU then uh, produces one of the main signals inside the whole system is read and write signal because it shows whether CPU right now is writing or reading something and we use NAND module to work with this signal to convert it through, from uh, read and write uh, one signal to two different signals read and write that we could use in port decoder, port decoder uh, to access different sorts of ports. On the first uh, breadboard we see memory, memory module that is connected to memory decoder uh, in the in, in the first version that you built right from the beginning you see only memory decoder without AND because uh, AND is only needed if you want to add some extra segments to read only memory but right on the beginning you need just uh, the last segment, segment inside uh, ROM and uh, that starts from F uh, so we just connect it right to to, to memory and uh, in our case if uh, memory decoder uh, signal is zero it means that we select read-only memory and if it's not zero so in all the other cases it is random access memory uh, if we end at end so we perform operation end on memory decoder address segments F and E and so then uh, after they ended we just connect it to memory okay what is uh, crucial for uh, working uh, for the computer is to connect to different sorts of input and output uh, system so in our case this is video keyboard and they, they're uh, accessed by video port keyboard port and bit sound port is a kind of a port for uh, flags that video and keyboard controllers uh, provide to uh, synchronize work with CPU. So okay, in, in order to access these ports, CPU uh, needs to use uh, address segment uh, that starts from D. Okay, and so this D signal is like port select and it goes here and then port select uses some um, uh, least significant bytes in address uh, to understand what kind of port it should uh, connect. Uh, we have like four ports here that we use is uh, we use uh, video port, video bit 7 port, we use keyboard port and keyboard bit 7 port and so it has four connections and you see all these four connections right uh, uh, on the ports decoder module okay so basically what is done CPU writes some something uh, using data bus 
uh, it writes uh, ASCII code of char that should be printed and it reads from keyboard port it reads ASCII code of uh, key that was pressed on the keyboard so CPU doesn't really understand how everything is organized uh, behind these ports so it just gets some ASCII code writes loads it inside the internal register and then just print something uh, using this video port so also it says like here's char yes please do it something with this print it out somehow and in this time uh, when something is printed uh, needs to be printed we have like signal uh, CPU writes to video controller and it's connected also it's not shown here but it is um, and the video controller should uh, convert the ASCII char code to some code that is some signals that uh, are accepted by display. In our case, we use SPI interface. So we use four uh, signals that is that are connected to our display module. And the second part is uh, we can use Harris video controller to print the same char uh, on some TV screen or Apple one or Apple two uh, monitors so in this case we use I2C uh, I2C interface it's like only two wires and uh, we connect via them to high-res video controller then it just uh, display we have LCD with installed uh, driver right on this display so it's just provides all these necessary things to perform uh, colored uh, LCD screen uh, printing so we don't really care about this it's just uh, some serial interface we just like stream there and then we have it uh, on the screen using different sort of commands to just to scroll and uh, to change color when we load and so so on in Harris uh, video controller, it's uh, just uh, convert to a some sequence of uh, uh, bits like we in packets, like we have like this eight bit packets, and then we use shift register to make it just like one bit that is used originally in uh, it used uh, in TV um, out uh, that is then becomes TV in, on your screen. On your TV or your monitor and it's general is like everything became kind of a very very long thread of uh, ones and zeros that are synchronized using special signals for rows and columns and then and, and frames and uh, all this mixture with pixels goes just to uh, this uh, kind of a one 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 bit interface so we have the same controller that can just like uh, produces two different sorts of uh, output and that is really convenient and you can see it in our driver so on github okay so with video part keyboard part is not so complicated we just use pc ps uh, socket to where we can just connect uh, our ps to keyboard uh, it's also a serial interface that uses clock and data uh, wires and uh, we connect it to, to our keyboard controller that just like uses interrupts to react on uh, this clock signal and it decodes what it got from uh, keyboard and uh, then set it uh, to with key data to keyboard port and also it uh, sets the flag that key is ready and uh, video controller uses this uh, uh, this uh, next char flag that is uh, that shows that it is ready to process the the next char so while it's not uh, this flag is not used uh, I mean if it's not processed uh, then CPU just waits. It, it has in this was operating system just infinite loop waiting while uh, this flag will be activated. 
And the same is uh, with Q-Ready, so it like uh, this routine that is used in, inside the operating system is very simple, it just like waits until this flag is ready, it, the key is ready, so until this is infinite loop while well, it's not uh, it's not getting any key. And so uh, basically that's it. So the, the brain inside uh, this computer is uh, CPU, it's like orchestrates everything inside and uh, to do this it's ne it needs some, some, some heart to, to beat at a special rate. Um, in our kit you can use low rate clock that we have on keyboard controller as an extra to use it in our tests and also you can use this generator uh, this oscillator on based on crystal that is provides like one megahertz that is very close to that of the original Apple one and so CPU just needs some instructions and it can read to memory write to memory it can uh, write to ports and perform some arithmetical and logical operations inside and all this gives it uh, the possibility to run even very complicated software like simple games on this computer like chess or something and everything could be there so a quick recap so generator clock goes to CPU it then provides read and write uh, unified signal but we then use NAND to uh, create the read and write separately uh, and also we use some address connection to memory decoder that decodes it uh, to whether we connect to RAM or RAM and that is the main signal here and also it provides a signal to select ports when the segment is selected and uh, when we when we assemble the first version then we can add end uh, module to add extra ROM segment with E start starting with E um, that in the original Apple one was uh, reserved for using Apple basic also mm, there could be loaded something like Crusader disassembler it also can be done using and uh, could be run using this and extra chip but for simplicity and it doesn't need it because all the other stuff like was phase demo program and all the other programs are in F segments so there are could be accessed right from the without this and chip and ports decoder and all this uh, port port stuff on uh, breadboard number three is just to work with the uh, chars, uh, whether we print it or whether we get it from keyboard and the ports decoder just generates four main signals working with flags of keyboard and video and working with the keyboard and video port themselves. Video controllers are, in our case, they, they are uh, Arduino chips that have drivers that uh, that work like get, getting some chart, uh, char and video controller and then sending it via the serial interface to display LCD display or also to the serial interface I2C to high-res video controller and keyboard controller is uh, um, using interruptions just to work with the uh, PS PS uh, socket and to then to send char uh, when uh, key is ready. Uh, the the, uh, the fifth uh, breadboard is very simple. It's just in the simple simple the most the most simple way you can just remove this high res video shift register TV out if you don't need them. You can just leave only display in this LCD display module and that would be the simplest way. Uh, but anyway, just everything here is uh, for outputting uh, some video, either on LCD, either on some extra monitor outside the uh, RC cable that is part of the kit. And also, uh, we have this, uh, these uh, controllers Arduino uh, 
uh, this one is burnt with output loader so it's just like you don't really need to modify anything right here on the, for, for this TV out but the video controller and keyboard controller could be uh, reprogrammed using Arduino IDE that is could be downloaded for free and uh, you using drivers that we uploaded to our github so for example on video controller you can just like change color of the text you can do X some extra add some extra stuff on the display change the size of the pic of the charts and so on and in keyboard controller what could be done is for example if you don't have right now ps2 keyboard you can just uh, modify code to uh, run it uh, with some delay. For example, you restart a uh, smart ticket, wait for 10 seconds, and then you got uh, emul emulation of typing the uh, voice monitor commands. For example, starting voice face program, start starting like F000 R means run, and then just like, like carriage return or enter, and then that's it. It could be done. So. If you don't have this key, uh, PS2 keyboard, you can emulate it. So it's all for now. So it's a very simple introduction. And then I hope you could start from the step-by-step -step instruction where you can uh, where you can see how you can assemble a simple terminal that is video controller, keyboard controller, and display and keyboard mainly prints everything it has to video controller until it has the flag sees this flag when and then when the new next char is asked then it clears the flag a ready flag for keyboard char so it's like it could do it uh, in an infinite loop they uh, clear flags for each other and so you can see what's going on on the display so thank you subscribe to our channel and See you in the next videos where we can explain our modules in details. Bye, have fun!